My next guest, Dale, lost her mother and grandmother within months of each other to an illness many people have never even heard of, including me. And then she ended up in the hospital with the very same infection. Here's Dale's story. This is my mom and my grandma. In 2005, my grandmother contracted C. difficile, or C. diff. This disease is a highly contagious bacterial infection. When my grandmother was released from the hospital, my mother moved into her house to care for her. The C. diff did return, and my grandmother was taken back to the hospital. While my grandmother was fighting for her life, my mother was experiencing flu-like symptoms. I took my mother to the hospital and she was diagnosed with C. difficile. While my mother was battling C. diff, my grandmother's health took a turn for the worse and she ended up passing away. And then I was hospitalized. I was completely shocked that I came down with C. diff. My mother's condition had worsened. They put her on a ventilator in the ICU. Ultimately, she passed away. Where's it? My daughters never got to meet such wonderful women. I'm here living proof okay. that people can survive, but this disease tore my family apart. Well, Dale is joining me now, Thank along you. with our very good friend and chief patient officer of Pfizer, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall. So thank you both for being here. Thank really you. Thank you. And, uh, Dale, I can see this is still very raw for you, and I'm very sorry about your loss. When you started showing symptoms of C. difficile or C. diff, you caught it really early, right? Yes, I was actually at my grandmother's funeral, and I started having stomach issues and had fainted. My father took me to the hospital, and I did test positive for C. difficile. I was actually taking antibiotics for a respiratory infection, and I have been told that antibiotics do make you more susceptible to the C. diff infection. Dr. Frio, what is C. difficile? Clostridioides difficile, or C. difficile, is a bacterium that can cause a range of symptoms from stomach pain and diarrhea to life-threatening inflammation of the colon. And C. diff can live anywhere. And that includes on surfaces like doorknobs and toilet seats and can stay on those surfaces for months despite cleaning. So where does a person catch this germ? Well, you know, we used to think that people could only catch the serious disease if they were in the hospital or in a nursing home. We now know that about half of the cases are caught or acquired in the community. Okay, so who does this affect? So. First of all, there are about or around 425,000 cases in the U.S. per year. And it usually affects older people. So someone young like Dale is not your typical C. diff patient, but as you can see, it can affect anyone. Well, Dale mentioned she took antibiotics. So how do antibiotics play a role in this? Yeah, so, you know, as important or while antibiotics are really an important tool in treating infections, some can deplete the good bacteria that lives in your gut. And this can possibly increase the risk of a C. diff infection. Dale, you recovered from the infection, but it came back, right? Yes, I did get a recurrence about two months later. Luckily, this time it was caught early and I was able to continue my treatments at home and it's been 14 years since I've had the C. difficile infection. Wow. So, how common is it for this infection to come back like it did in Dale's case? Yeah, so not uncommon. About one in five people who are treated for C. difficile infections um, actually experience a recurrence. And what's important is that the recurrence may not just be one time it can recur again and again. So what can people do to help prevent getting this infection? First of all, only take antibiotics when they're needed and as directed by your doctor. Next, good personal hygiene. And that means good old fashioned hand washing with clean water and soap. Now the alcohol-based sanitizers may not be enough to effectively kill these C. diff spores. 
So it's important, hand washing, clean water and soap. And if you are around someone who has a C. diff infection and you begin to feel ill, then you have to do what Dale did. And that is get to your doctor right away. And that way they can monitor your symptoms, diagnose you early and treat you because that's key. You bring really good stuff we need to hear here. And to keep yourself and your loved ones safe, make sure that you check out their website for this, which is gethealthystayhealthy.com. And while they're there, they should do what? They should sign up for our monthly newsletter. That's right. Okay, I wanna thank all of my guests today, especially our friend, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall.